Give us some background on the transition here and who popped the question and how. Uh, thank you, Emily. That would be me who popped the question. And the reason is that the <laughs> skills you need to successfully found a company are just very different than the skills you need to take an established company like Curology and grow it to its full potential. And so, you know, right now, the company's in this incredible position for the future because, um, like you said, we became profitable and we really have the ability to invest. And so my goal is just to find someone to help take us to that next level. And I just couldn't be more excited to be able to have found Heather here. Heather, given what you learned recently at Revlon, what's your vision for the company and you know, what you know about what's going on in, in the beauty world, especially given that we are moving into potentially a pretty pronounced downturn? So, I mean, a couple things. One is I'm so sorry excited to be joining Curology. And Curology is actually doing what many beauty companies are talking about, which is personalization. So it's truly personalized skincare. We are connecting people with dermatology providers that create custom formulas, and we can service those consumers and really help them have better skin outcomes. And so people, your face is the way that you face the world. And so how you look and how your face looks uh, really has a big impact on your confidence, on how you feel, um, and, and truly a big impact in your life. So I'm excited about that with Curology. Now, you know, in terms of what's I, happening with the economy, I think we're, we all are concerned about that. This is an incredibly resilient category. Um, and I do expect us to be able to do very well during this time period. I 100% agree that good skincare is vital, but how much do you think people are really gonna be spending on themselves right now when they're spending more on everything from gas to groceries? I mean, isn't that the first thing to go, you? It, it's actually not. Um, there are many things that go before skincare. So I've actually seen data over time on um, what happens during challenging economic times and skincare is one of the most resilient categories. At the end of the day, as you say, you know, you're going to work, you're in front of friends and family, you're putting your best face forward, and it is very important. And so I do expect consumers to still spend in this area. David, the cult of the founder is so strong, and especially in Silicon Valley. And I'm wondering if you've, you've been pretty straightforward about why you're doing this. And now, do you think too many founders stay too long and that more founders should leave potentially sooner? Every company is different, but but I do believe that, you know, the decision to pass the baton, as you say, to someone like Heather should actually be made a lot more commonly because ultimately what we care about is getting our business to that next level. And the same person to successfully found a company isn't necessarily the right person to get you to that next level. So so I do think there's um, um, there, there's a lot of merit in that. Um, Heather, I, I know that Revlon recently uh, filed for bankruptcy. They're talking about supply chain issues. Curious if you're expecting to deal with some of those similar issues at Curology, especially as it pertains to the supply chain and what you learned there that you can potentially apply here and head off some of these challenges. Yeah, so I think when it comes to Curology, our supply chain is really focused in the U.S. And so it's much more simple. Uh, we are providing products end to end, but it's a much more simple supply chain. So the other thing I know is that just keeping us focused. So keeping us focused on the right and the core of the products and being able to continue to do our personalization and our customized formulas at scale is gonna be where the focus is. So let's talk a little bit more about that. What's your hope for the next chapter of growth given the rise in direct consumer skincare, the rise in personalization, as you say, the rise in subscription services, but also the fact that we're, you know, some people might be paying for a few different subscription services, um, you know, at one time. How do you, how do you see balance, you know, consumers balancing all of that and Curology winning out? So the company was founded on the mission of access that consumers should have access to the kind of skincare solutions that the best dermatologists can provide. And so as we think about growth in the future, it's all gonna be about continued awareness and access to those providers. And the more access and awareness that we can create, the more consumers we can bring in. We're the, lar the largest player in the personalized skincare space, uh, but we are relatively small at this point compared to the $20 billion facial skincare market in the US. David, what are you hoping to see in this next chapter and how involved will you be? 
I will be stepping into the position of a uh, board chairperson. And, you know, ultimately the most important thing is that Curology succeeds. And so I'm going to be helping in every way, that, any way that I can. Um, but, you know, the biggest thing for me is that we have this, this really huge opportunity in front of us. Because I think if you talk to almost anybody who's used Curology, they will tell you there's no way I'm going back to using what I used before. Uh, but when you take a step back and look at the market, about 95 plus percent of people are still using non-personalized, less effective skincare. And so what I really do hope to see is just us being able to continue to spearhead the market shifting towards the more effective, personalized type of skincare that the best dermatologists provide. And speaking of the market, Heather, I mean, are you thinking about an IPO in, in, you know, in terms of the next phase of growth? You know, who, who knows what the future will bring? I think we're going to be focused on profitable growth and reaching more consumers with our fantastic customized solutions. Um, and the better skin, the more better skin outcomes uh, that will just unlock the future possibilities.